Hello everyone and welcome inside the CIF. I'm your host Richard Tiemann and this is your Game of the Week preview for week number 12 of the 2021 CIF season. It's crazy to think that we're a dozen weeks in and still have a champion to be crowned next month. Very exciting times. We are in the home stretch of it. We had a couple of great games this last week that we'll touch on real quick. And we have all six teams in action this weekend, including your Week 12 Game of the Week, the number one Salina Liberty versus the number two Omaha Beef live in the slaughterhouse. But first, let's go ahead and take a look back at week number 11. On Saturday night, we had the Omaha Beef visiting the Dodge City Law for the first of two this season. The next one will be in Omaha. Final score 31 19 really doesn't do that game justice, if, as this one was very back and forth, very low scoring all throughout, but a couple of key turnovers as well as the ability to manage the clock very well by Omaha. They ultimately come out with another W. They have won four of their last five going into this second meeting with the Salina Liberty. Then on a special Monday night edition of CIF football, we had the Wichita Force visiting the Wyoming Mustangs. And wow, what a back and forth battle this one was. At one point, though, it did look like it was almost out of reach for the Wyoming Mustangs. But then a couple of special plays on special teams put them right back in it. And they were able to hold off the Force for a W. Final score, 38 34, and it does put the Wyoming Mustangs back in that playoff conversation. So let's go ahead and move forward to week number 12. Today I'm joined by a pair of running backs. From the Salina Liberty, we have Tracy Brooks, and from the Omaha Beef, we have the reigning Offensive Player of the Week, Deshaun Jones. So let's preview the week 12 game of the week. All right, CIF fans, first up in our game of the week preview, representing the away team, he is the running back for the undefeated Salina Liberty, Tracy Brooks. Welcome, Tracy. How you doing? How you doing, Rich? Doing good, man. Um, I got to say, uh, it's week 12, and you guys are still undefeated. Has it felt any different at any point in the season being you know, without a loss at all? No, uh, because we played the game to win. <laughs> spoken like a true competitor you guys go in there expecting to come out with a w every time so i like the uh i like the confidence and here you guys are going into omaha the last time you guys met them was uh, i think your guys's third cif matchup of the season it was their first official cif matchup of the season in a road game clearly a lot has changed both roster wise as well as where we are in the season um, what have you guys done differently in your mind as far as adjustments made throughout the season that continues to make you guys so good? I just say we can come and practice and compete every week. I feel like we're going against the best defense every week we um, practice, so that just perhaps prepare our offense to get better every week. Yeah, you guys have certainly stepped up uh, each week in and week out. I know that there was uh, – you know, a while back, you guys and Sioux City Bandits were the game of the week, and it seemed like they had, at the time, the best defense as far as their front three goes. But uh, you made almost easy work of that, not to take anything away from Sioux City, but it seems like whatever challenge is presented to you, uh, team-wise, roster-wise, circumstance-wise, you guys have uh, rose to it. Is that largely in part to uh, now Hall of Famer Coach Haran O'Neill's coaching style? Uh, I would say so, uh... We got a great coach in Coach O'Neill. Um, he he know how to get us ready to play a big game. What is it that you guys like so much about him that you that has you buying in week in and week out? Honestly, he's just a player's coach. He know how to relate to his players, and he's just a good coach, man. Yeah, I mean, like we said, we expect to win every game, so it's really not much to really say, but we just go in prepared for any and everything every week. Now you guys have also had to overcome some adversity. Um, you guys have had Mitch Kidd in at quarterback for the last couple of games, and he's had himself uh, quite a few <laughs> great outings uh, with that, including Offensive Player of the Week. But for you, you know, it doesn't matter the quarterback. You're back there to run the rock, and if you need to, do some clock management 
and just make sure that you are doing your part as far as making sure this team can get the W when that clock hits zero. What's it been like to um, you know have guys uh, get hurt and then have your bye week so close together and you know have to adjust? I, I imagine there's probably not a whole lot of adjustment for you, but still some. People get hurt every week, so it's like the next man up type deal. Uh, yeah, uh, Big's come in for Josh, and I mean he's he's finally getting it together. So I'm looking forward to what he do this week. Excellent. Well, you guys, uh, as I said, undefeated, but of course you could win. You could lose any of the next three, but the most important win of the season would be the championship at the end. You guys, um, I'm sure it was easier to not talk about earlier in the season, but at this point, you know, has it been addressed in the locker room, you know, how close you guys are to finishing the regular season undefeated and then just two more games and you'd be champions? Not really. So uh, I just think we just take it one game at a time. We're not looking past anybody. We're not looking forward to anything. We just take it one day at a time, one game at a time. Uh, I looked at the numbers the other day. Omaha Beef have uh, averaged over their last five games. They've allowed uh, 25 points a game to opponents, which in the world of indoor football, uh, pretty hard to do, especially with the shorter field and explosive offenses. For you being on the offense, what type of a challenge does this present to you, and are you looking forward to it? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, Anytime we can put up some points and I'm I'm always down for that. So I mean it's a lot of talk in the league right now of who's best, who's not. So I'm looking forward to this game. Seeing a lot of emotions on this game too. Just because it's it's always good to play against old teammates and we're just looking to compete. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few of you guys that have uh, played on Salina that are on Omaha, vice versa. So it's um, not your typical rivalry game, but it is number one versus number two. And I think it couldn't have come at a better time in the season. Omaha needs to win two of their next three to secure a home playoff win. But even still, there's no guarantee that they'll even be in the playoffs if they lose more than that uh, in this final stretch. So a lot still on the line for Omaha for you guys really playing for pride and to keep that perfect record. So, last question, most obvious one, what do you need to do to win this Saturday? Uh, offensively, we need to control the football, make the plays when it's time to make the plays, defense, limit them, get turnovers, and special teams always. Special teams is a huge one. You guys have a great kicker in Jimmy Allen, and you guys have had some great return men as well. Trust me, when I say I see the the highlights, I go through them, and I'm like, this team, this team is very good in all three facets, and I'm excited to see it up close and personal once again at a time in the season where you guys have only gotten better. So, uh, Tracy, I want to thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. All right, once again, fans, he is Tracy Brooks, running back for the Salina Liberty. And uh, Tracy, safe travels and best of luck this weekend. All right, thank you, Rich. All right, fans, next up, representing the home team, he is the running back for the Omaha Beef and the new reigning offensive player of the week. Congratulations to Deshaun Jones. Welcome, Deshaun. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Doing good, man. Um, It is week 12. Crazy to think that we're here already, and over the course of those 12 weeks, your opponent has not lost a single game. But you guys, uh, since your first meeting very early on in the season, a lot has changed. You guys have really found your stride, your identity, especially in the run game, which is part of the reason why you got the uh, nomination as well as award for Player of the Week. Uh, Take me through Dodge City and, and what you guys had to really do in order to uh, not only, you know, get them in a spot where you could get the win, but uh, adjust kind of on the fly. Uh, that was, you know, a big uh, team win. You know, defense really came through. Um, offense really came through. And, you know, special teams did they can with, you know, the Unos. You know, the guy keep kicking through the, you know, field goals. But you know, we kept it on them. And, you know, we stayed, we stayed playing uh, composed and just kept playing our type of game. A great road test for you guys, obviously, especially, you know, going into this next home game. You guys have been at home all week. You get to practice at the arena. What has that been like for you guys? I mean, uh, being able to practice at the arena, you know, you get that um, lab, that lab look, that feel, you know, inside the arena. You get the um, measurements and everything, you know, what it's going to be like on game day. Uh, So that's always a plus. Um, 
but I mean the the preparation and the hard work it, does, it doesn't change no matter what location we at. What's been your favorite thing about this team over the course of twelve weeks? My favorite is that you know this team it continues to get better, continue to gel together, and um, continue to play for each other. Um, I feel like you know in certain games it's like defense look at offense and like, hey you know we're gonna need to score here and you know we get in that score and then you know offense look at defense like hey. You know, we put y'all in bad position, but we need y'all to, you know, make a go last stop. And, you know, they've done that on multiple, you know, uh, multiple times. So uh, just being able to rely on each other um, and, and play as a team, you know, you know, and it only got better over time. So We were talking about you on the broadcast during the Dodge City game and how you're uh, one of those unique style runners where it seems like you're not so much uh, east and west, but more of kind of the patient one looking for the right spot and trying to make something out of very little. And there was a play where the uh, you know the backfield collapsed on on Drew and he had to escape and he just does this little flip to you and it was probably one of the best plays of the whole game probably saved the drive and you busted off for I think 16 yards and uh, I said that is probably the most Deshaun Jones play you'll ever see and it happened by accident I mean is that kind of the the play that you thrive on? Yeah, I mean uh, me and Drew got that type of chemistry that you know when when the play. Might be breaking down, you know. They may be playing the defense, you know. It's it's me and him being better than, you know, what the what the coach can call. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we do that so often. I mean, it happens so many times throughout the season. It's just a, uh, you know, hey, Drew, I got your back. You know, if you if you need somebody to rely on, then you know I'm here for you. So it's just one of those type things where, you know, that's, that's just a QB running back chemistry type thing. Like you can't game plan for that. You know, you can't like practice that. It's just something that. You know, it just naturally happens, and me and Drew got that type of relationship. You know, you guys picked your spots. You didn't quit on the run game, which I think was huge for that, especially in clock management-wise, and uh, we're able to come out with a W. But now you guys will face an undefeated team, and, of course, early on in the season, you probably wouldn't think much about a team that's 5-0 and or 4-0, and but they are – you know, undefeated come week 12. And so for you guys to host them and have the chance to give them their first loss, uh, what uh, has that mentality been like in the locker room? Um, for us, <clears throat> for us, it's mostly uh, every week, you know, you're not that same team as you was last week. Um, so we don't see an undefeated team. What we see is an 0-0 team, and we 0-0. And it's, you know, it's mano y mano. Somebody got to win, somebody got to lose. Um, so, you know, you got to bring your A game every week. You know, they, they can't. We can't be predicating on, you know, the success we had in the past, and we can't be giving them credit for the success they had in the past. Um, it's all about, you know, this week of preparation, what they did this week, how much work they put in this week, because at the end of the day, that's what, that's what will win the game, you know. What you've done in the history doesn't dictate what you're going to do in the future. So it's, 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 it's an O&O &O week, yeah. <laughs> 0-0 oh, no week with a big challenge. I know that you guys as competitors love every challenge you can get. You have won four of your last five defenses held opponents to an average of 25 points a game, which in the world of indoor football is crazy. And the offense really stepped up, really found its identity and rhythm, and I think you guys are in the perfect spot to make this uh, one of the best games of the year. So last question, what's it going to take to beat the Salina Liberty? It's going to take, it's going to take every player, for, I mean, every person in the organization, Every fan in the building is going to take every person in Omaha. Like, we all got to come together and, you know, put it together and, and go out there and give a great show. And just everybody needs to work hard. So, the fans need to, you know, practice their uh, cheers and everything and get together. The coaches got to get their plan. And the players just got to go out and play. So, that's what it's going to take. We need everybody there. All right, once again, fans, he is the reigning offensive player of the week, Deshaun Jones, running back for the Omaha Beef, and they will host the undefeated Salina Liberty this Saturday. Sean, it's going to be a great one, so uh, I can't wait. I'll see you Saturday. Absolutely, man. I appreciate the opportunity. And one more big thank you to Tracy Brooks and Deshaun Jones for joining me on this edition of the Game of the Week preview. Don't forget, fans, as I mentioned earlier, all six teams are in action this weekend in all three games are happening Saturday, June 12th. The action kicks off with our game of the week, the Salina Liberty versus the Omaha Beef at 6.30 p.m. Then we have the Dodge City Law taking on the Wichita Force in another great rivalry game. Kickoff for that is at 7.05. And also at 7.05, we have the Wyoming Mustangs visiting the Sioux City Bandits. If you're unable to attend any of these three great matchups, don't forget all three can be seen live on the CIF Network channel on YouTube.com who will be our Game of the Week next time. You'll just have to tune in and find out. Until then, 
I'm Richard Tiemann and this is Inside the CIF.